Good morning! It's me again, Sir Jude, your teacher in Science 10. On our previous video, we've talked about the practical uses and applications of EM waves. In this video, we will talk about the effects of EM radiation on living things and the environment. Radiation exists all around us, from man-made up to natural resources. It comes from two forms, the ionizing and non-ionizing. Ionizing is a form of energy that acts by removing electrons from atoms and molecules of materials that include air, water, and living tissue. On the other hand, non-ionizing is a form of low-energy radiation that does not have enough energy to remove an electron from an atom or molecule. The dividing line of non-ionizing and ionizing radiation occurs on the ultraviolet part of the EM spectrum. The lower energy in the left side is called the non-ionizing radiation, while the higher energy is called the ionizing radiation. Ultraviolet radiation comes from the sun. There are three types of ultraviolet rays. UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVC is absorbed by the ozone layer and really never reaches the earth. Here are the beneficial effects of ultraviolet rays. It stimulates the production of vitamin D. An advancement in industrial process in medical and dental practices. On the other hand, here are the harmful effects. Sunburn, skin cancer, cataracts, and losing of hair quickly. The visible light can be seen by the human eye. This type of radiation consists of seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When all the color is present, it appears white. Here are the beneficial effects of visible light. Human and animals able to see the light which comes in the variety of colors which differentiate objects. Plants able to produce their food. While the harmful effects of visible lights are ocular damage and skin diseases. Infrared are used in remote controls, night vision goggles, and thermal scanner which is widely used nowadays because of COVID-19 pandemic. About half of the sun rays are infrared, which we feel as heat. Here are the beneficial effects of infrared. Good blood circulation, detoxification, skin purification. It also provides heat for the growth and development of crops. Here are the harmful effects of infrared. First, it can damage your eyes. Second, climate change due to greenhouse effect. Infrared radiation from the sun is normally absorbed by the Earth's surface and the clouds, then released as heat into the atmosphere. When the atmosphere has a lot of water vapor, along with nitrogen, sulfur, and fluorocarbons, the infrared radiation gets trapped and causes the atmospheric temperature to rise. This is called the greenhouse effect. Temperature increases cause changes in the weather patterns on Earth and lead to climate change. Microwave oven work because microwave excites the water in food and cause them to vibrate, generate heat, and cook the food. Here are the beneficial 
effect of microwave. Advancement in telecommunications. Improvement in agriculture, transportation, medical and military fields. And last, fast and easy preparation of food. On the other hand, overexposure to microwave can be harmful, like painful burn, cataract, AM FM radio, TV, and cell phone uses radio frequencies. Here are the beneficial effects of radio wave telecommunications, and medical therapy like hypertension. On the other hand, here are the harmful effects burn and damaged body tissues, cancer, leukemia, and other disorders. X ray is one of the ionizing radiations. Here are the benefits. It helps us diagnose the treatment of diseases, support medical and surgical treatment planning. And here are the harmful effects. Loss of hair, skin burns, damage healthy living cells in the body, and of course, cancer. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength among the radiation and highest energy. Here are the beneficials of gamma rays. Application in medicine, industry, agriculture, and research. Treatment of cancer, sterilization of medical equipment. Here are the harmful effects of gamma rays. It can damage living cells, produce gene mutation, can cause cancer. Since you are now aware of the effects of EM radiation on living things and environment, how will you reduce electromagnetic hazard?